Is this the Havoc? And is this a brand new energy assault rifle weapon? Oh lord. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the channel. I am Stylosa. So this is from the announcement trailer. This is Pathfinder with an unknown energy assault rifle. What is he doing with this? What is this weapon? And could this weapon be the Havoc? We've also got reference to the L-Star as well, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I want to give a massive shout out to Apex Leaks on Twitter. He actually sent me this information. He sent me a beautiful screenshot as well, which is awesome. And we're going to dig into this. So check this out. This is from the game files. Now, what this says, what we're looking at here is inside the red box. We've got an energy AR. Now it says Havoc Rifle, Havoc, full auto charged energy rifle, fully auto charged energy rifle, accepts multiple hop ups. There is also mention as well below this of the L-Star. Now, the L-Star was a weapon that existed in Titanfall 2, but we'll get onto that in a second. So let's focus on this Havoc rifle right now. And where is this information come from? Well, Apex Updates are a data mining kind of crew. They got together, they found this information. They gave me a poke and said, hey, Style, look at this, look what we found. Now, this is in the game, and what we're trying to look for is inside the game files. What I was trying to look for is reference to this um, existing in the game world. Is there any um, visual evidence of this? And obviously, I think that Pathfinder could possibly be using it. All right, let's focus on this. So it says the Havoc can accept multiple hop-ups. Now, if you played the game yesterday, it is since I believe updated again or they've done some sort of change because I cannot replicate this in my games. But if you played Bangalore and you pinged any item, Bangalore would give you a rundown of the items. Like she'd say, level two body armor here. If you haven't got one, then you need to pick one up. Or she'd say, there's the wingman. It's the strongest pistol in the, the, the frontier and things like that. She had this kind of flavor text added to what she said. Now, if you pinged the hop up select fire receiver and turbocharger, she would say, oh, hey, this would be good for the proud hey hey but also the havoc which was like what the havoc that doesn't actually exist but now we've found reference to it in the game files so as with most things i'm not the first person to find this out so i want to give a shout out to the guys on reddit who have actually um are talking about this as well especially to the user goldstein goldberg um where he says playing as bangalore i noticed when pinging the select fire hop up she says if you have havoc or a prowler that's new since the patch, which is really cool. It does actually then go to give a shout out to another YouTuber. You guys can go and check that out. You can see the uh, the link on the screen and all that good stuff. In fact, I'll stick a link in the video description below because let's share the love, ladies and gentlemen. So this is cool, right? But then there's another comment. And this is from Willow Melody. Uh, and Willow says, she also mentions the Havoc when you ping the turbocharger and references energy ARs in the other line. Energy ARs with wind up and maybe burst fire by default. Okay, well... Also, she, she mentions it for the select fire receiver, which is super funky. So the question is, what could this weapon look like? We don't have an energy assault rifle in the game. Energy ammo is pretty rare. And again, if you played Bangalore <laughs> last night or, well, when the patch dropped, she would say every time you pinged energy ammo, she'd go, oh, energy ammo, it's pretty rare or something along those lines, which was like, okay, yeah, it, we know it's rare. If you've got the devotion, you just absolutely go through energy ammo like you wouldn't believe. So you tend to run out of it pretty quick. So does it make sense to add an assault rifle into the game that also uses energy ammo? But why would it have select fire receiver as a usable hop up this is the thing that gets me because while select fire receiver goes into the prowler the prowler is a burst fire heavy uh well it is an assault rifle heavy assault rifle um it's kind of hybrid smg so does that mean we're about to get a burst fire energy weapon but would that even be that interesting to just put in a weapon which is oh here you go it's a, a burst fire assault rifle you kind of got a burst fire heavy weapon so I, I kind of feel like they need to do a little bit more, right? So I, maybe it'll have some sort of funky mechanic. And the fact that she mentions it with the turbocharger means that there's probably going to be some sort of a wind-up component. So this is where we can kind of go a little bit crazy if we put both of those together. So if you've got the turbocharger to decrease wind-up um, or spin-up time, just like it does with the Devotion, and then you've got the select fire receiver to make it fully automatic instead of burst fire, does that mean this could be a weapon that charges up shots and then fires like a an energized shot or you can rapidly fire low power shots so you could like hose down an area with shots that do minimal damage or charge it up and sort of fire a big overloaded bolt if that is true that is going to be absolutely ultra funky ladies and gentlemen and i'm going to need that in my life I want you guys to go crazy in the comments below. Do, what do you think this could be, right? It's going to be an energy assault rifle. That's what it says in the game files. This is just shown up from the last uh, Valentine's update, which has literally just come out. So I'm, I'm really super hyped to see what this could be. But yeah, go crazy in the comments below what you think it could actually look like. 
Okay, so what about this L Star? Well, check this out from the data mine information. L Star EMG, L Star plasma fueled heavy machine gun, plasma fueled heavy machine gun. All right, so the L Star is pretty unique when it comes to respawn because this is a weapon you can get in Titanfall 2, but also they've clearly showed us this in Apex Legends. Can you see what Bloodhound is holding? That on the splash screen when you load into the game on PC is the L Star model from Titan. Too. There is no doubt about it. I'm 100% certain that is the case. And when you load into the game, you get the uh, the, the screen where you press, well, on, on the PC, you click to go to the next screen. On console, I guess you just press um, whatever you press on consoles. I don't know, to get into the game. But it's a higher resolution version of it. And again, you see Bloodhound holding the L Star in his hand, which as we believe, according to the game files, is a heavy machine gun that uses, well, energy, ammo, maybe? Or at least plasma, but we don't have plasma in the game. This is the model from Titanfall 2, so again, you can see they're just exactly the same, right? It's literally the same weapon. And this is the description of the L-Star. So the L-Star is a rapid-fire, particle-accelerating, energy-light machine gun. It fires red particle bolts at a moderate speed at the target. Targets hurt by the weapon will have red energy swirling around them for a few moments, and if killed, their bodies will explode if hit, as if hit by an explosion. Now, I doubt we're about to get a weapon which will make bodies explode, because that would be a bit good, maybe. Maybe we will. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. Who knows, right? But this is saying that the L-Star in Titanfall 2 is a light machine gun. So this kind of does make sense with what's going, well, what's been said in the game files. It's going to be a machine gun, um, and that's going to be funky so what we've got here are two weapons which we believe are going to come out when the battle pass drops now the battle pass update is very soon if you guys look at the roadmap or remember the roadmap um you'll see that yes the battle pass is stated for the next kind of launch we're going to get new heroes which we think we're going to get two new heroes there if you guys watched my video from yesterday then uh, if you well if you haven't go check it out it's pretty cool it's got a lot of speculation going on there with uh what the next two heroes could be because we might get a double hero or legend launch and it looks like as well we're going to get two weapons it's going to be the l star and it's going to be the um havoc funky times right all right guys i'm in stylosa this is unit lost if you guys enjoyed the video then remember follow me on twitter which is at stylosa subscribe to the channel click the bell also follow me on instagram which is at stylosa and make sure you check out all of the links in the video description and go and take part in all of the discussions where everybody is talking about all of this crazy um apex legends stuff all right guys i'll catch you on the next one toodaloo